Today I'm going to guide you through the group assessment in CS 3002 the Saw Mechanics. Okay, first we open Gel Studio and choose the student license because we don't have academic license. And choose the um, unit is metric, not imperial. And our test will be about ship W, so please choose it. And then add the steady state in um, student version we cannot have transitions and couple simulations so steady state is good enough for us and now we try to draw the critical note by draw point yep so i select point approximately you can see the coordinate appears under my arrow so I try to draw the geometry of the foundation here. It's a good tip if you can draw the ship peg regions is about two times of the thickness of the uh, ship page layer. So for example, in our situations, I have it about 12 meter. So therefore I draw to the front and to the back about 24 more meters and I also try to draw the ground water level and a quasi dam you know that if you have uh, the coordinates is not integer so you can edit coordinate of the point in the box given above here for example I draw it to get the inclination of 110 so it will be 8.4 meter and here will be 1.6 meter Now we draw the regions of the ship page layer. Here's the first region. When you finish draw a region, you can start draw directly a new region, or you can just untick drawing region and then redraw another one. So it's a um, second region. Now it's time to input the material property. Now I input the first one should be uh, sandy silt. And I choose the type of materials when we saturated one because it's always under water pressure. And I select uh, appropriate color which similar to its color sandy silt and now the second material clay sand which is a little bit higher permeable Now, after we have input the material property, we have to assign it. So we draw material. <laughs> the last step for data input is a battery condition. So I select battery condition and add a new one. First one should be the upstream one. and I give it by total height of 17 meter 
Next one, I make the downstream conditions. Yes, at the river. At 10 meter. And after that, I try to draw the boundary condition, to assign the boundary condition to the geometry. You can see that they both have the red dot over here. So it's a good idea to change the color to ensure that we apply the right body condition. So we have back to K in and change the color of the downstream body condition to blue. Yep, now you can see it's blue and this is red. So we have to draw the flux and here I draw few line to simulate the real conditions of water and dam so you can see how it works later because it will help us to get an idea Okay, now it's good time to start. Untick the CW because we don't have couple simulation. Yep, you can see here the flow and the ship equations. You can untick the control color or control line and the arrow to indicate the streamline. Now we go just back to define to change the mesh size because I think the mesh is too close. Now I choose to a final one, 1.5 meter is okay. But it's still in a version. You cannot go for very fine element mesh because you have some limit of number of elements. Yep, you can view it at any time you want, then you calculate now. You also can add up the label to see what is the flux through a cross section. And you can label the potential line for a better image. Yep, I think it's good for today. Please do section B.